Lucius. In this game, he plays Lucius Wagner, the son of United States Senator Charles Wagner. He must already lack a soul. <laughs> you were born on June 6th, 1966, and as we learned at the start of the game, today is your sixth birthday. If Iron Maiden taught me anything, a visit from Lucifer himself was probably due. And right on cue, he comes to visit you that night. You might want to get your Mori tickets ready, because he also drops the complete unexpected bombshell on you that he is your real father. As you may expect from your father being Satan, he decides that you should kill all of your friends and family so you can become the son of the devil. To help you, he gives you some totally sweet powers like mind erase, telekinesis, combustion, and... Um, uh, mind erase, telekinesis, combustion... The weirdest thing about this game is the fact that even though you play as Lucius the entire game, the narrative is mostly told by Detective McGuffin, an officer who is repeatedly sent into the mansion to investigate your series of unfortunate events. While your dad may believe that everything is just a huge stroke of bad luck, McGuffin believes otherwise. No matter it be someone freezing to death, getting their head sliced open, or Mother Nature's homemade rocket ship popsicles impaling a man in the eye socket, someone is to blame. But it isn't entirely you. As it turns out, your grandfather was totally in the devil worship and used to sacrifice people in the name of Beelzebub for money and power, so your family is in debt to him now, which is why they gave birth to the son of the devil instead of little Timmy. So now everyone's dying left and right, your mom and dad have become mental basket cases, Big Lucy is happier than Mike Tyson at a meet and greet with Dumbo, and Lucius is... just peachy. And then MacGuffin gets the church involved. Oh, Things are starting to go downhill for our little antagonist. Charles finds out about the grandfather's history with the occult and is about ready to tell the popo on me. But we recover quickly, because as our poor batshit insane mother sings to herself in the garden, we decide to mix things up a bit by having Dad kill her right in front of Detective McGuffin. And no matter how hard Daddy tries to blame it on little Lucifer, I mean Lucius, he just seems like the man who went full John List mode as he killed the people he loved. In the grand finale of the game, after our dad has run away trying to evade the police and leave me in the empty house on my own so I can burn to the ground, the priests decide to show up and take care of the situation in an attempt to exercise me like Richard Simmons to the elderly in what may be the worst combat you could ever make for a puzzle game. To end the game, you must burn and kill every priest, respectfully of course, and then you walk out of the burning house in extremely slow motion, having finally accomplished your mission to become the spawn of Satan. And no one lived happily ever after. The end. Smiley face. What is going on guys? It is Maskman here, and I want to thank you for watching my video, Lucius in a Nutshell. This is a test episode of a series I have planned to see what things I need to change around, what I need to get better at, so this is just a, a little bit of a test run for it. So I want to thank you guys for watching, uh, help spread the word of it by sharing this video anywhere you want on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, fucking 4chan, probably not there, but uh, you know what I mean. Tumblr, you know, all those places. Put it in the mail if you want. I don't know how that'll work, but figure it out. So remember to subscribe to see more of this series and every other video I make, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, this has been Maskman, logging off.